Good morning, and welcome to your Monday Marketing Motivation. This week's topic is business-to-business -business marketing on a budget. For a lot of small businesses, money is really tight right now, and we hear our customers when they say that their marketing budget has to be cut. I understand, but as the popular adage says, when times are good, you should advertise, and when times are bad, you must advertise. History shows us that in times like these, now is the time to gain market share when your competitors are cutting back. But how are you gonna do that when your marketing budget's been cut? Well, as always, you want a marketing plan that uses multiple channels, but be very specific with who you're targeting, especially on the more expensive marketing items like direct mail. But with business to business marketing, one way to do that is to really know your target audience. So step one, would be to spend some time really researching the companies that you want to do business with. Step two is to find the name of the person in the department that you should be speaking to. For example, should you be speaking to the office manager or the managing director, or in our case, the marketing or event coordinator? My favorite tool to do this research is LinkedIn's Sales Navigator. After you've done that, you might want to introduce yourself, your company, and your services by sending out a personalized letter and a professionally designed brochure, something that you would typically hand out at an event or leave behind during a meeting. Then step four is the all-important follow-up phone call. You want to make sure that they receive the mailer and answer any questions that they may have, even schedule a Zoom meeting or some other call to action. A completely other option might be to set up a landing page and create an offer online to entice potential customers to sign up for your newsletter. No matter what your marketing funnel or customer journey might look like, having a strategic marketing plan in place can save you a lot of money by focusing your marketing efforts. I also wanted to mention that we've been hearing a lot about companies that have had to cut back and lay off some of their full-time employees. So if you've laid off your marketing manager or graphic designers, now is a good time to outsource any of your mar marketing projects. With companies like ours, you are only paying for the time used on a project, not a full-time salary with benefits. We can also get really creative with revising your marketing plan for the rest of the year. So I'd love to hear from you. Please comment below with how your marketing budget and efforts have, a, have been affected in 2020. I'll see you next Monday with some more marketing ideas and tips. Until then, have a great week.